Uh, directly after Zoo Race, we will be having Captain Novelin, followed by Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I love that noise. I love it. All right, so uh, let's see. Three, two, one, go. Hello, I'm Duke Bilgewater. <laughs> yeah, <God. laughs> All right, so this is Zoo Race. Uh, this is a game that Peachy stumbled upon, and it's a really special game. Like, we joke about it a lot, but I think everybody who runs it legitimately enjoys it as a speed game. It is except, incredibly fast. Except for the cutscenes, <laughs> which we're watching right now. Yeah. Although they're pretty special your first time. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, I'm Kane the Cougar because he's the fastest character except for Ruben on some stages. Um, sure. You'll notice some things are going to start happening pretty soon. Oh. All right, I had to slow down there to avoid. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh god, the sky box is calling me. Don't worry, I'm fine. Now. Usually, if you launch off one of those signs, you go out of bounds and you can't get back in. Oh, you know. But we're good. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is actually just a scrolling texture, so like floating somewhere in the level. It's not actually. Oh. Oh, I'm spinning. That's fine. It's safety. So yeah, this is technically a racing game, but it's more just a you breaking the game game while the other animals just kind of hang out in the back. It's pretty fun, actually. It's, uh... <laughs> so I should have actually explained the movement. There are multiple movement keys, and what you do is you hold down all of them, and it makes you go a little bit faster than you intended to. This is also, called the hyperspace this tunnel? This is the hyperspace tunnel. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of control. This is actually a really good hand of sights. Oh my gosh. Right. Also, for some reason, this is the only level that doesn't have music. Once in a blue moon, it'll come on. Yeah, the greatest part of this game is the soundtrack. There's a lot of love put into this music. Um, every level sort of has a silent first part, and then there's a cutscene, and then the music kicks in, and it's yeah. always worth listening to. Sometimes, because... I think this, this stage, I feel like, is my favorite song. Before the music starts, the announcer has to read out Kane the Cougar, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And then finally the music starts, and you go so fast and the levels are so short that sometimes you almost reach you're, the finish line by the time the music starts. Yeah. The thing is, you're, I don't think that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Bill, do you even run this game? You, no. you did not have it installed. I'm saying like you don't get to hear much of the song. Ago. That's what I'm saying. Right. Oh, man. This is a Christian game and a Christian stream. <laughs> Let's not get into that trickery. Uh -oh. Look what you've done. Uh -oh. So yeah, what I do here is I run out to despawn the water, and I go slow here to not go out of bounds. I want to stay low to the ground so not to lose my speed until I go over this hill, and then I trigger the cutscene. <laughs> Normally you have to go through the stained glass maze, but now you just go down yeah. to the treasure ship. There's just a ship there. Got it. This is actually a really good run so far. Here's some lava. Nice, good save. That actually was a nice save. All right, if I get water skipped, this is a really good one. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, so close. <laughs> this is actually the hardest trick in the game, I think. Getting enough momentum to yeah. skip this water. You basically have to dodge every single barrel. Yeah, but this is fine, too. You just kind of sit here and wait for the water to end. Oh, do, do, you, do you have the, uh, the story to this game sort of memorized? Kinda. I have the Z-Race canon pretty firmly ingrained in my mind because it's pretty unforgettable. Um, so apparently there was... I, okay, I might be wrong. I think the game dev might be watching, so I don't want to offend him. Uh, I think there was going to be some sort of sacrifice, but instead the Lord decided that they should all race and celebrate life. And so you, the altar that you guys saw earlier in the uh, dance party, that's like the altar of life that uh, celebrates the zoo race. So now they just race, and they get steak off the ground. And this is all straight from the Bible. Wait, is there a... <laughs> yeah, there's a steak, dude, right there. Ready. I'm going to get that steak. Are you? I'm going to get it. Set. Actually, I shouldn't. The, the food actually speeds you up. The thing is, because of the uh, multiple keys being held, it actually slows you down because the animation to grab it is slower than... 
you know, just running past it. Shout out to Hee Hee for his skips. Duke's not doing Oh no, what is that? <laughs> there was a new skip discovered just moments ago and Duke is not doing it. <laughs> Alright, let's double cone. I found a setup for this, but it's so gone. It's not gonna work. Oh, oh. That's too far. That's actually one of the tougher skips, is getting... You have to hit two physics objects without really control of your character, so it's just luck based. And if you do, you vault over a lot of the stage. Not that you don't already do that, though. <laughs> Stampede! Yeah, there's American and German flags over there. There are, yeah. I should. That was actually fast. You want to get past those guys. That's one of the places where you can get stuck behind them. Here's a skip where you don't touch a trigger that causes you to enter a state where you're facing, where am I going? Where you're facing downwards. So that actually saves like 30 seconds. It's a pretty good skip. Oh yeah, uh, shout outs to Elemental Guard for ruining this game forever yeah. and also finding pretty much all of the tricks. Elemental Guard found pretty much every skip in this game and he didn't want to shout out. Did he not? So we're not going to give a shout out to Elemental uh, Guard. It's too late for now. All right, this is actually, you have to take this slow, especially if you get a bad pattern, which I did, because if you go off these pipes, you go out of bounds and you're stuck and the run is pretty much over, actually. It's interesting that in most that really games, good, getting out of bounds is very easy. Or, sorry, getting out of bounds is very difficult. In this game, getting out of bounds is like, that's the, that's the thing you have to avoid. Yeah, this game, you just run into a wall and the Lord finds away, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of, actually, yeah, there is a pretty good, <laughs> I just run into a wall. And the magic happens, and it lets me <laughs> skip the entire first part of the stage. And uh, the best animation in the game. Which one? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so... I should have picked Ruben. God. I've never seen it. I like games, though. Is it it's good? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Peach just showed me. The end is pretty strong. Ready. Yeah. Set. I'm okay. What are you oh, doing? I'm wiggling. You gotta wiggle to get that. I go. never wiggle. <laughs> bounce, bounce, and you're in the cutscene trigger. There so there you go. Yeah, That's the first half of the stage. Alright. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. Where am I? There I am. Oh, oh god. Alright, that was you, actually okay. You have to be really careful here, because you, you can fly out of these windows and you'll never get back in. There we go. There That's actually go. really good. I had pretty good air control in that. I'm surprised. So this... I know I've said there's pretty hard tricks in this game. This is the hardest trick because no one's ever gotten in a run. I think Elemental Guard has gotten it twice in practice, and he's the one who found it. We're just waiting for that zoo race task, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if this game can be tasked without, like, breaking. <laughs> Not that, you know. uh, Anyway, what you do is you basically mash, coming out of its screen transition, uh, into the second part of the level. And if you're really lucky, you'll skip an entire water section and a jump that takes about seven seconds to line up. So if somebody got that in a run, it would pretty much be the run, but not yet. Ready, set. The song is pretty bad. Yeah, for some reason the countdown on that level is way shorter than any other. The countdowns are actually just sort of inconsistent. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh! oh. It's, it's pretty brutal. There's no way. Here's a nice little uh, glitch where you can run into this wall. It pops you out and you go a little bit faster. The thing is, a lot of these skips, they're really hard to kind of experiment with because it's just so annoying to test things because you have to wait for that long intro. Every time. By the way, there is a first person mode in this game. It's really fun to play it. It yeah. reminds me of Quake. Yeah, it looks like Quake. Yeah. <laughs> if you're just you're like bunny hopping all the way. Yeah. 
You also get to experience the rats in first person. All right, I gotta turn around to trigger the level exit. Congratulations. I forgot we're doing this route. When you do that. What? I think the music got replaced. Oh, dude. So, I just remembered something. I might have replaced some of the music in this game for a different occasion. <laughs> um, what? So, Kane Train might be making up for one of the greatest chokes in marathon history. <laughs> like, eight months late. Dude, the KK choke is coming back. The return of the KK choke. <laughs> this is one of the songs. I got it! I got it! Dude, I might have replaced this with KK Slider. I don't remember. But we'll find out. We'll find out. I don't remember the song I was talking about. So, this is the last level, okay. and it's Never spectacular. Um, the intro is way longer than any other, and they put a lot of emphasis on this right here, which I think kind of speaks for itself. Also, all the animals are invisible during the opening. Yeah, this level also has the best, the best cutscene in the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the route, we skip it because Elemental Garo is a terrible person. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to employ the skip we use, but I'm going to go trigger the cutscene. So, because why not? It's you have to see it pretty much. It might be, it might be KK Slider. So the animals have just gone invisible. Yeah, that happens every time. Don't worry yeah. about it. Ready. I'd say that's the opposite of a miracle. Set. Oh. I can't get it. Uh, okay. We in there? Cougar. Oh, there's dinosaurs, by the yeah. way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the horse. The Where's my jump? Rubus the Rhino. Raise the wood on I never saw that before. <laughs> It's the cane train. <laughs> Boom! Okay, time is coming up as soon as I trigger the end of this level. So just. Going. Okay, time is now. That's actually a good time, yeah. All right, so I don't know if we're I don't know if we're behind schedule, but this is like, this is one of those games where you have to let the credits roll. So let's see if it doesn't crash. So we actually got the uh, 
the second ever sighting of the Hannah Tamar OTP. But like, it's not, it's not good. So what happens sometimes is that Tamar shows up in this cutscene under the head of the horse. Uh, it's pretty. <laughs> Because it's some kosher. We'll never see it again, though. <laughs> so, it's a once in a lifetime kind of game. Alright, so that's Zuris. Oh, yeah. So, I think we uh, we might have plugged this already, but Family PC Gaming, which is the uh, the site that distributes and, uh, Family PC Games, <laughs> I make that mistake every time. They're the site that distributes these games, and they said that they're going to donate 50% of the sales, so we're getting ready to do, uh, to the charity. So if you guys want this game, go crash their site. It's familypcgames.com. You can buy uh, Zurich. I think Fire Warriors is on there too. That soundtrack's too, yeah. So <laughs> this is a game that you should probably experience, and if you do, you should probably pay for it too. So. Yes. Good run, man. Huh? Are, we Are we really gonna do this? It's probably the best time. No, let's do it later. Let's do it later when we have time to plan it out. All right. You have just experienced Zoo Race. You are watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2014. We are.